What's good to you too? My name is Lau and you're now watching Extra Long Shorts. So real quick, the video is probably looking a little different than normal. Shooting 60 frames per second. Also, I am trying out a uh, one of my older uh, wireless audio transmitters, which is from the company Byturn, and I have a microphone plugged into it. I normally use the Hollyland Lark M1, which is nothing wrong with it. And it sounds just as good, if not a little better but it doesn't allow me to plug a microphone into it, it doesn't have a, a, a microphone jack in it that's the only reason why i'm not using it trying different things comment down below what you think you know w in the chat if you like the new audio setup but i have some bad news uh unfortunately uh for those of you who've been following the channel really close know that my bike is the moff can v30 and the moff can v30 is an electric bike it costs upwards from nine to twelve hundred dollars very nice expensive gorgeous beauty but unfortunately last friday while i was at work it got stolen straight out of the parking lot of a hotel garage while i was working doing security the irony is not lost on me before you guys go commenting you sh did you do this because you didn't that? you should have done this trust me for my part i done everything that i can to keep that bike safe and protected i locked that bike up everywhere i go but yeah before we start the video be sure to hit that subscribe button we just got to 300 subscribers thank you i really appreciate all the love and support but we are trying a goal now is 500 subscribers so only you can help me hit that goal so make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications so you don't miss an upload and yeah let's get right back to the vlog so yeah like i was saying my bike got stolen and honestly uh, i didn't know what to think i was taking a break between uh 10 15 and 10 30 which is normally when i take my last break for the shift but i went back upstairs and 12 a.m hits and i'll go you know say goodbye to everybody getting ready to head out and i noticed that my bike was gone went down to the parking lot and it was there no there was no broken chain pieces uh it was wrapped to the parking lot uh poles and whatnot and it was wrapped pretty tight uh i assume the only way that you're able to get it off is if you have two or more people help you lift the bike up and like wedge it up and try to inch it off of the pole i always take the battery pack off and i bring it upstairs with me and put it on the charger because just in case if someone's able to take it i just i'm not going to give them the luxury of being able to fully enjoy the fruits of my labor because uh without the battery the bike is pretty much useless it doesn't even ride good as a regular bike without the battery you need the battery to help operate the bike comfortably and use it to its fullest potential if they were able to break it free and get it off the pole that they would get on it and try to operate it and realize that it doesn't work and would ditch it you know maybe a couple feet away from where it was parked but no i believe that someone came around with a truck lifted it off the pole took their sweet time got it in the back of their pickup truck and was out and now it's be probably being chopped up and sold for parts unfortunately and yeah and i gotta tell you guys that ever since it happened you know of course now of course mind you i did call the police but i was just so in shock and for this to happen under you know the watch of the security guards who was down there was very disappointing dismay because i work for the company on the third floor staff of the security hotel not going to go into detail what we do but just leave it at that uh anyway point being i was genuinely just hurt and something i had worked extensively hard to get to my specific liking was all it was just taken away from me in a matter of moments and i'm never gonna get over that because i've been just like most of you who have had your bike stolen in the past that's a part of life it's gonna happen and unfortunately it's happened to me and now i'm dealing with the ramifications of that and i'm trying to uh you know put in a claim and get my insurance get uh, through renter's insurance and hopefully i'm able to get the full reimbursement and i'm able to go ahead and just order another one and you know i could put the situation behind me but it all depends on what uh the renter's insurance is willing to reimburse me and how much of that original price i'm willing to uh get money back on uh my fiance is tirelessly working with me on getting that uh handled but you know honestly just life has lost luster you know on the beautiful days where i would go out and ride uh now i just am stuck on my stupid ass mountain bike and it's just the worst you know it's not the same i feel like a grown a, a giant riding a 
a little finger BMX bike when I ride my the mountain bike and it's just not the same going outside is not the same uh, riding around I'm dependent on getting a ride from my fiance again uh, I'll have to pay lifts and ubers to get to and from work it's just uh, it is really it is really uh, disappointing it's really upsetting and frustrating with that being said that was just pretty much like a briefing of what happened just so that there's no secrets between you and i because i feel like if i'm gonna you know do youtube i want to be as transparent with you guys as possible and let you guys know what's going on and not just when things are going good but also when things aren't going good so you guys can understand my current state of mind and you can you know kind of relate and know that i'm not this you know monolithic figure you know i'm just like you guys a normal guy who's just trying to make it you know and make some pretty dope content on the way and yeah i just feel like hopefully i'm able to get the bike replaced and you know get back to riding because you know right now just things things aren't looking and things aren't feeling too, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not feeling too good these days you know if i'm being generally honest i'm not feeling too good i'm not doing too good you know i'm it's unhealthy to walk around with this much resentment and the quicker I'm able to get it replaced, the, the more I'm willing to let the situation just, go, you know, be gone. But for right now, uh, you know, it's just it's something that's just sitting in my heart and something that I hope to, you know, get rid of. Especially if I'm supposed to be this newly, this newly found God-fearing individual, you know, uh, walking around with this much energy and hate is not good that if you like this video make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on notifications and remember guys just do it and i'll see you in the next one peace because it's now extra shorts shorts but longer